Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth Hammer tutorial. This tutorial will work on all Source Engine games. I'm using Portal 2 authoring tools for this tutorial. Today we're going to be going over leaks. A leak is what happens when the inside of your level can reach the outside black space of your level. This will cause compile errors, bad lighting, and water to not show. We don't know how to add water or lighting yet, but we'll get to that in a future tutorial. So how a leak is made is, like I said, when the inside can reach the outside. If you compile your level and you see red fly by, that means that there's probably an error. To get a better look at the error, when you hit compile, hit wait for key press when done compiling, and then hit OK. Some versions of Hammer may not have that option. The compile log may stay up and it may not be color coded. But I'll show you guys what you should look for. You should see a bunch of stars or asterisks and it say leaked and then what entity is leaking. So let's go ahead and try to find out where it's leaking. To find out where the leak is, click map and then load point file. It'll ask you if you want to load the default point file. If this option comes up, that does confirm that you have a leak. Click yes, and you'll see a red line is now drawn in your map. But how could this be? There's no entity here. There's nothing to leak. So there's a new concept here that I'm introducing you guys early. It's a volume entity. I'm not going to show you how to create one, but you'll know soon enough. Every entity has an origin, and if the origin is outside the map, that means that it's leaking. The origin is represented by this blue ball. To fix this leak, all we do is simply select the ball in our 2D view and move it back into the map, where it should be. Now we'll compile again. And a side note, when you're testing for leaks, compile without visibility and without rad. This will make your testing go much faster. Click OK. Oh, I saw some red. We still have a leak. So click Maps and Load Point File, and the red line will move to somewhere else. We have another leak back here. So we'll just patch this leak here, and then compile again. We do still have a leak. We'll map, load point file, and see what the next one is. OK, the next one's over here. That's really simple. We'll just patch that up, and we'll give it another compile. This should be the last leak. Click load point file one more time and see where the line is being drawn. We'll go ahead and pull that shut and compile one more time. We have no more red. That means that all the leaks are gone. If you're suspicious that you still have a leak, you can click map and hit load point file. If you get this window asking to browse for a .lin or lin file, that means that you don't have a leak. And then you can click map and hit unload point file to get rid of that red line. The only things that patch leaks, or prevent a leak, is a world brush. A world brush is when you double click on a brush and it just says object solid with faces. This is how you know something's a world brush. If something comes up with class info like this, that means it's an entity and it will not stop a leak. If you've accidentally turned a brush into something by pressing Ctrl T or some other witchcraft, you can turn the brush back into a world brush by holding down Control, Shift, and hitting the W key. This is for move to world. You can also do map move to world here, and if you want to make it an entity, it's tied to an entity. But you'll usually use hotkeys for these. Click apply, and then close it, and then that will fix your leak problem. I hope this tutorial helped you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, and stay tuned for more tutorial information in the